everyone and welcome back to Dynamic Touch. In hair news this week, JT, half of the rap duo City Girls, has recently teamed up with Kiss Colors and Cares as a brand partner. For those of you watching who are not based in the United States, Kiss is a brand that started in Flushing, New York. They were originally just a small startup that featured a unique niche in the artificial nail market. Today, their products can be found in beauty supply stores across the country. Their brand can be found in 100 different countries around the world as well. Kiss Colors and Care is one of the newest additions to the Kiss family, which focuses on textured hair care. I wonder if they wanted to focus more on products that could be seen as natural hair care. Is that maybe why this brand is separate from Red by Kiss, which has been their original ethnic hair care line? Maybe this is a way to rebrand and modernize parts of their company that caters to black hair care? Let me know what you think down below. So JT has come on as a brand partner for Kiss Colors and Cares newest collection that includes a braiding gel with maximum hold a locking gel with regular hold, and a locking wax with ultimate hold. It also includes various edge controls in different flavors and a wax stick. They added a wig and weave section, which was not part of the initial launch, that includes a lace bonding kit, a lace bonding adhesive spray, and a super stay freezing spray and a lace tint spray in three different shades of brown. Lastly, they launched three headscarves and wraps within the collection. So far, there seems to have been a very positive response to the collab overall. And here are some of my thoughts and opinions about JT's newest venture. It seems like this year, JT's image is going through major rebranding. The image that she is currently portraying is very, very different from the original city girl type of influence that she and her bandmate Carisha is known for. From the viral interview clips where she expressed her feelings concerning being labeled as an angry black girl online to being featured in a show during fashion week, it seems like she is slowly distancing herself from the past and creating a persona that could be seen as easy to work with and more refined as well. Not only did she step out of her comfort zone by joining this collaboration and by rocking styles that included more of her natural hair being left out, but she even encouraged young women to embrace their natural hair when she sat down for an interview with the magazine Hello Beautiful, stating, and I quote, don't be afraid to be you. I remember growing up, I struggled with my natural hair. I used to wear a fan and was insecure about it, but then it became fashionable to take your hair down and spread it out. I'm a black girl, so I've been through all the ups and downs, and the beautiful thing about being a black girl is we can get all types of braids and other creative styles. I feel like our hair is strong and beautiful and we should take care of it and not be insecure about it. And flex, it's a flex. Now, this rebranding could all be speculation since it's too early in the year to see if it will last, but it is a breath of fresh air to see women in hip hop do things that uplift and encourage women. Now, let's talk about the business side of things with Kiss Colors and Care. On the website, it says that JT is a brand partner and I'm not sure what brand partner means. Does brand partner mean that JT has more of a hands-on approach Kind of like a cover girl, for example, Queen Latifah, which would mean that the person has a hand in recommending products as well as being the face of the collection. Or is being a brand partner more like a brand ambassador, where the person uses and promotes the products and has little to no input into development and marketing? Both are fine. I was just wondering what that means. This is important because some people online are saying that it's her own natural hair brand, which leaves room for confusion. Next, I would like to say that Kiss Cares and Colors are very late to the lace tinting spray game. Not only are there multiple black owned lace tint and lace glue brands that have been around for years and are launching this year alone, but even cosmetics has been dominating the lace tint lace adhesive game for the last year thanks to their influencer marketing tactic that has quickly made them the go-to brand. They are literally everywhere, paying a lot of people or collaborating with a lot of influencers allegedly, and as a result has influenced the market, especially among those who are in their early 20s and those who use TikTok allegedly. 
they also have recently reformulated and relaunched their tinted foaming mousse and they have recently launched products to directly compete with pump it up spritz and got to be glued holding spray allegedly on top of that got to be glued has decided to jump into the arena this month I'm guessing Schwarzkopf, which is the brand behind Got To Be Glued, saw the creativity that black women were adding to the marketplace concerning wig installs and as a result decided to launch specific products that are supposed to be better and purposely made to make wig installs easier. Got To Be launched a bonding glue and a remover and on top of that according to their website, it is safe for the hair and scalp as well as clinically and dermatologist tested. But back to how easy even Cosmetics is dominating the market. Besides even Cosmetics influencer marketing tactics being successful, what is also driving their popularity is the cheap price which makes it easy for other women to buy and create content surrounding this product in hopes of garnering traction and followers online allegedly as well as the fact that people are actually saying that the product works very well as a quick side note i would like to say that whoever came up with the term melt your lace deserves a paycheck the fact that a lot of brands are using it as part of their marketing and making bank off of this slogan is quite baffling there is always a creator to every popular term or slogan found on the internet for instance think about the whole on fleek debacle situation so if any of y'all know who it is please drop the name of said individual in the comment section anyway i think that kiss cares in color still has a chance to make room for themselves in this already saturated marketplace and here's why one their brand has a strong identity within the united states among black people even JT mentioned that she was pleasantly surprised that they would be interested in working with her and she used a lot of their KISS products in her adolescence. 2. KISS has recently become known for their high profile collabs with prominent figures within the black community in the United States. From A-listers to musical artists like Bow Wow, they have definitely been creating opportunities for black celebs to shine outside of legacy media in Hollywood. This is viewed as a positive thing. 3. They have distribution channels that other companies could only dream to have access to which is Walmart. Walmart will strategically and conveniently place their products in Walmarts located in predominantly black neighborhoods found across the United States, thus making the products easily accessible to the masses. This allows space for this new collection to be seen by the consumer very easily. The last reason why I believe that this launch could do well is because a lot of products are extremely affordable, thus they are easily obtainable. All in all, if their products use safer ingredients than their competitors and if the consumers find that this brand can create just as good a result as other popular brands I could see their target demographic leaning more towards them. Big brands are not the only ones launching new hair products. A very little lady has joined the hair care world with her brand the hair pop. The beautiful young lady has teamed with her mom, Alexis Skye, to start her first ever business venture. And she's not only in it for the money. The hair pot launched with three products initially, which was a shampoo, conditioner, and hair serum. But Lele and her mother are planning to add tape-ins and clip-ins to the site pretty soon. I love that at such a young age, Alexis is teaching her daughter positive things and I hope to continue to hear good things about this young brand owner. Even though there has been a lot of hair care products that have launched this month, there has also been interesting hair care tools that are shaking up the hair industry. Introducing the Unbraider. The hair tool, which was first launched in 2005, has recently made a comeback and is definitely a tool that will pique your interest. The Unbraider is a hair care gadget that is said to save you time unbraiding your hair by allowing you to unbraid up to 8 braids at the same time. It is also stated that it works on locks as well so you can cut down the time it takes to take down your protective style. Throw away the rat tail comb, we don't need it in 2023, I'ma put y'all on game to the Unbraider. The Unbraider is a black owned business owned by two beautiful queens, per, and it is a comb used and designed to take down multiple braids at once. You can take down knotless braids, cornrows, individuals, you name it. It's super simple, super easy to use. Take down your braids four to eight at once just by brushing them away. It also detangles while you unbraid. So you're taking down your braids in half the time. 
would you be interested in purchasing the Unbraider? Why or why not? The Umbraider is not the only brand making waves and change with their product. We are as well. What do you use to keep your synthetic hair from tangling? Are you still waiting until it becomes a ball of snapped ends and tangles before cutting it, dipping it in fabric softener, or applying baby oil? Well, with fiber oil, those days are over. Fiber oil allows you to quickly smooth out even the worst rated, disheveled, frizzy synthetic hair, allowing your comb to glide through the bundle with ease. Feel comfortable wearing longer lengths of straight synthetic hair, knowing that you have a portable, quick and efficient way to keep your synthetic tresses looking gorgeous throughout the day. A reliable product that's long lasting, that's lightweight so it's easy to carry for those on the go. Try fiber oil and change your synthetic hair experience forever. Recently, I came across an interesting trend in which people are taking their own body hair and using it to fill in their eyelashes rather than using strip lashes or going to get eyelash extensions. This made me think to myself, is it possible to repurpose body hair or is this just a sign of our economy? And should this be seen as gross or innovative? I myself think it's interesting because even Kim Kardashian has allegedly implanted hair from her head onto her lashes in order to grow long thick lashes. Can hair from other areas of your body become a source for eyelash implants in the future? Would you be willing to give this trend a try? The last topic we are going to talk about today is Makeup by Shayla's Viral Wig Closet. On TikTok, Makeup by Shayla was sharing her hair routine, which includes her extensions, when viewers became mesmerized by how her hair extensions are organized. The bob is gone, honey. I had to wash my hair because it's time to switch it up. So I always decide on two wigs. Like I'll bring two down and I'm like, okay, are we doing curly straight? What are we doing? So we start by we, as if I'm doing it, <laughs> braiding the hair. Okay. Straight backs. Look at the scalp, honey. I rarely see my scalp. And then we put the unit on. Um, this is from Kini Hair and it's fitting a little bit tight which i kind of love and look at that hd lace i like when it fits tight because it snatches the face okay and then we sew it on no glue team no glue i know i wanted to show you this because i feel like everyone uses glue and if you don't like glue because you love your edges like i do because those are my edges out honey okay then you can just sew it on storm always has to be involved like she's such a baby and then you got to flat iron it make it nice and flat add a little bit of concealer if you know you know the spray actually that's that's more like if you know you know okay that spray and then this is the finished look inches honey okay i feel like i'm back like <laughs> i'm back okay yes but also no i do have my wigs in a closet but it's not a full wig closet. Like I have my makeup storage here. I just have one little area for all my wigs. I counted them earlier and I believe I'm at 24. One day I might have two rows or maybe we'll expand all the way across. But until then, my wigs have a small little corner in the closet. I would first like to say that I really love Shayla's hair routine. It's one that causes minimal damage and I know that by next year, her hair will grow incredibly long. I also know that a lot of women will take inspiration from her hair closet and hair shelf and create versions of their own. Let me know down below in the comment section if you would do the same as well. Thank you all for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you next time on Dynamic Touch.